beautiful people. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, bestie. I know Matthew was like the first here. Hello, Pastel. I think Eric is here. Hello, Mandy. Hello, beautiful regret. Hey, Crystal. Hey, Satan. Hello, hello. I'm loving your editing lately, by the way. Like, you are doing amazing. I hope you know that. Gary, hello. Hello, Blue PJs. <laughs> okay, now hasn't went live yet. Now, hey, Mrs. Carlet, now hasn't went live yet. So I figure I'm going to torture us with some foodie beauty content. <laughs> hey, Eileen, good to see you. Abby, hello, beautiful. I sound happy. You know, you know what it is? I just feel good these days. I just feel really, really good. I, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain. I, I don't know. I've walked into this new like era of my life where I truly give zero Fs. <laughs> like, I just don't, um, I'm not like letting people just, you know, lie about me anymore. Um, I'm using my voice and it feels really, really good. And I feel super strong and I just feel ready to take on the world, if that makes sense. <laughs> but I'm happy to hang out with you guys. And I just want to chit chat, just have like a chill stream. Your happiness is contagious, Breezy. Can you tell I'm smiling right now? I'm smiling. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm just making positive changes in my life in general, just on a health journey. And like I said, the more I move my body and the more I'm getting healthier, I just feel better mentally. I really do. Despite what anybody else says, like I feel amazing mentally. Watch Breezy will come on when I'm washing my hair out. No, I'm here now. I'm here now, but we could keep you company while you wash your hair. Good to see you. What kind of shampoo are we using? What kind? What kind? <laughs> woof, woof, Stella. Trade you, Breezy. I'm extra happy tonight, but that's because I had to take a Benadryl and they F you up. See, they F you up. I think I have something wrong with me when it comes to medication because Benadryl makes me hyper. Like, extremely hyper. <laughs> Hey, Soren, that's all that matters. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like I'm having fun on, despite all the crazy stuff that's going on, like, I feel like I'm having fun on YouTube again. Um, I feel like just watching Foodie, like, just decline and be miserable, and then always having a back and forth with her. It was just, like, getting old in general, and I kind of knew I wanted to take my channel in, like, a different direction. I just wasn't sure what. Again, I'm not completely stopping Foodie Beauty coverage, but, like, you know when you watch something for so long and you have, well, you guys probably don't know it, but if you have a back and forth with somebody for so long, like it eventually gets old and I started feeling like uninspired in a way. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it, but like I feel like I'm having fun again on YouTube. I feel like I'm having a lot of fun. So, you know, take away what Nal said about my child that fucking sucked and I hated it um, in general, but like aside from that, I'm just having fun again and I'm being myself and I don't have to pretend to be this person who's never had sex, who's never smoked a cigarette, who's never cursed a day in her life. Like I curse, I joke about sex all the time. I, it's just me. And so it feels good. It feels really good. It's almost like liberating in a way. I don't know how to describe it, but Voodoo just repeats herself a lot. It's just like how long can we watch like the lies? Okay, I'm dieting tomorrow. I'm getting better, better tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm not going to rage. Tomorrow, I'm not talking about anybody's family. Tomorrow, I'm doing this. Tomorrow, I'm doing that. And it's been like years and she's just getting bigger and she's just lying more and she's just being more shady. You know, it's like there's only one way things are going to end with foodie. And I hate to be the one to break it to anybody, but like she's not planning on getting better. I know supposedly she went to therapy today, but like, isn't she planning on going back to the Middle East? So what is like one therapy appointment going to do if you're running back to the toxic environment with the man who wants to shit on your beezers? You know, um, <laughs> thank you. Tatum Toddies, I think you are so beautiful. I just hope you know that. I think you are so freaking gorgeous and you are incredible. Being around with Breezy for way over a year and I'm glad to hear this new tone, you know, I... <laughs> It's just, it's a new era. So you guys can follow along with me if you want. If my content isn't for you anymore, I totally get that too. I totally get that too. But like, this is an adult chat. And so we're going to be adults. You know, we don't have to tiptoe around curse words. We don't have to tiptoe around sex topics. Um, it is what it is. Benadryl makes me catonic. Doctor said I'm sensitive to it. So no more for me. I wish it made me tired. Like, I wish it did. I don't know. It's odd how medication works on me. 
Thanks, girl. You are stunning, too. And I'm so happy you're feeling more positive energy from YouTube. I love that feeling. But yeah, I love it, too. I feel inspired again. I feel like I want to be live, you know, when I'm not momming and taking care of, like, real life stuff. I feel like I want to be here for a long time. And if you notice, before when we only covered foodie, I was live for, like, an hour, right? We were, like, live for an hour and we would dip. But, like, I'm loving these longer streams that we're doing tonight. might be shorter. But, you know, in general, I'm loving the longer streams. I feel like we're getting to know each other better. We have a pretty strong bunch. You know, we're loyal to each other. And I just feel like our little breezy bunch army is growing. It feels really good. It feels really good. <laughs> um, Because Foodie, she is soul-sucking. She really is. I, you know, she's done some really shitty things. And... I know a lot of people are coming over from like Cobra and now has been talking so much shit. So we have like a lot of new faces. Um, she's not like this nice Muslim woman just trying to do the best. Like she's a vile creature. She's an animal abuser. She doxes family. She doxes children. She doxes retirement homes. Um, she's one of the most disgusting people. So like just because she threw on an abaya and a hijab didn't change her. She's just still disgusting. She's just trying to hide it a little bit more. Um, just give me anesthesia and let me sleep. <laughs> Breezy bunch. Yes, we are a very loyal bunch over here. Hey, Tony. Um, I, Nightmare. Hello. 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 Good to see you guys. Okay. So we're going to get into the foodie stuff. I'm not sure which one we should watch first. Um, I just kind of want to make fun of her. So there's Lunch and Therapy Canada vlog or... <laughs> We can watch, oh, I have it, Out of Shape at, what is this? Ew, I don't want to become a member. Out of Shape at the Upper Canada Bird Sanctuary. I guess we're going to go with that first. Let me share my screen. We can also go over to Twitter after. I've had quite the day over on there. I really have. I've had a lot of fun. People think I'm angry, but no, Breezy's using her voice. Breezy's using her voice for once, and damn, it feels so good. It feels amazing. All right, so let's watch Foodie Be Fat. And out of shape at the Upper Canada Bird Sanctuary. On a side note, if you followed Foodie for any amount of time, you would know she takes us to the most messed up, janky ass zoos where the animals are always suffering. I'm not saying it's going to be like this for Canada. I'm truly hoping it's not. Like she takes us to look at sick animals all the time. And it's kind of heartbreaking. But I'm assuming Canada treats their birds better than Kuwait. Hurl, my wife is here. <laughs> hey girl twitter just doesn't know what to do with this side of breezy no and it's kind of funny because people are like you need to get help you're freaking out and i'm like no you just don't like it that i'm standing up for myself and there's plenty more where that came from i'm not going to be walked all over anymore i'm not um let me see i want to make sure i'm not missing anybody i said hi to everybody right okay so foodie's still massive and out of shape let me make this screen bigger <laughs> and i guess off we go Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey guys, just a shameless cameo plug here. Get your cameo today and don't delay. No, Personalized video just coming your way. <laughs> Get yours now. Cameo. Yes. Hey guys, today we are going to enjoy some nature oh, at yay. the Upper Canada Migratory Bird Sanctuary Campground in Ingleside, Ontario. So, Yella, let's go enjoy some nature and see what we can find on this beautiful spring day in Canada. Welcome, in welcome. Canada. Dude, she's hanging out with Missy Moo again. She borrowed her whole ass entire personality. Like, her whole personality. <laughs> Bubble, I will. While I'm advocating, Missy Moo, why did you stop sending pizzas and become, like, part of a daily routine in my DMs? I don't think Cobra's trolls are going to come for me. I don't think so. But if they do, I doubt they're going to listen to you, Missy Moo. Yes, I know it's you, Turban Toots. All right, let's keep going. There's a deer. A deer. Wow. 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 Hi. That's Mandy. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi! <laughs> Please send pizza, Missy. I'm hungry. <laughs> There's many different walking trails here. 
I hate to say this, but if you know anything about foodie, she thinks hitting animals in the road is funny. So I'm really glad that the deers made it to like safety or the deer. I'm sorry. Great place to come just for a walk in nature. It's pretty out. You should do more of that. You know, I've lived here my whole life and never realized how gorgeous the nature is. Like, mm -hmm. it's like I'm seeing it all for the first time or something. No, it's, it's really beautiful, you know? Does this remind you at all of when Nal discovered the moon in the sky last night? <laughs> I'm really enjoying myself alone out here. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I love it. Well, that's good. I gotta speed your ass up. I'm sorry, but... Yeah. It's gorgeous. It is. And you know what? It's cliche, but life is so much more fulfilling when you appreciate the really small things like that. Like the deer? Oh, I need a manicure bad. Look at this. Ew. No, Matthew, I didn't. I'm going to get my nails manicured, but uh, no color. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, I'm going to wear. I'm just going to get, like, the cuticles removed, nails trimmed, stuff like that, cleaned up. Nice and clean. For once. All right, now to go over here. I kind of wish she would show us more of Canada. I feel like when she lived there before permanently, like we didn't see it anyways. Like we were always in the villa, right? We were always locked in the room while she was getting high or whatever else. Like we were either doing that or we were chasing Natter around like at night or like stalking him. <laughs> so it's kind of nice to be out and about. And I really wish she would do more of that in general anyways. trippy thank you for subbing for the fishnets more to come i think i'm posting on monday put it in your calendar <laughs> matthew <laughs> You know, I was just thinking, like, it's windbreaker season, but, like, is it just me? Or I remember windbreakers, like, making the wind colder against your body because, like, they kind of stick to your body when the wind hits them. I don't know. Huh? Anyone else? No. Crickets? No? Okay. <laughs> I actually, I said no, but I don't remember because I haven't wore a windbreaker since the 90s. Ooh. I'm loving this day. Another nice pond here. Yep. Bird houses everywhere. This trail goes in like a circle. Why are my car? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of cool to see an alligator pop up out of the water and it's chase foodie and chase her. That'll give her exercise. Big nature reserve. And there's the St. Lawrence River, I believe. <laughs> I remember there being rumors as kids that there's bodies in the river. Surely there are. Surely. But who knows? Kind of morbid. <laughs> nice birdhouse. I don't think I've ever thought of that. And I don't think I'm ever going to. But like when you guys go swimming, do you wonder how many bodies are floating below you? Like... E? I don't know, but she just unlocked a whole new fear I didn't need to think about, like, ever in my life. I'm going to take another break. Zigzag. In memory of. <sighs> then last step, we'll be back to the car. And I have, actually, I have an appointment <laughs> at 2.30, so... Yeah. I know no one else understands my journey. I'm sorry, what? 
Have you ever thought of a possibility every time you yawn, a dead guy sticks his eggplant in your mouth? No, but I yawn a lot, so I gotta stop doing that. There are any few of you do, but... <laughs> or maybe those who do don't really say much. <laughs> but that's okay, you don't have to. Okay. My life to live, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for being here. You're welcome. I just want to know, has he pooped on you yet? Little birdhouses around here. I feel like I'm in a game. This is closed, but... I think it's important. <laughs> Weird taxidermy things going on here. <laughs> I don't know. I seriously feel like I'm in a video game right now. <laughs> I don't know why. She sped up. Oh. Hold on, I forgot. Well, she's not sped up that much. Bird observations. There. It's normal. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. I'm Holy shit. The filters have given up. Wow. Foods. Here at the bird sanctuary uh, in Ingleside, Ontario. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I saw some cute deer already. It was so nice and it's so peaceful out here. There's like no one around. I think my dad is here fixing something because I keep hearing cam like hammering. So I'm going to press play and I'll be right back because now I'm freaked out thinking of the dead bodies and the ghost penis in my mouth. So I'm just going to see what I can <laughs> see and do a bit of exercise. Yellow. Different places you can look out here. Might be out of breath. What was that? Oh. Anyway. <laughs> like no one out here. She has a fear of so Bigfoot? Yeah. I'll be out of breath because, well, I'm overweight and I have asthma, so. I know she's afraid of Bigfoot, but I think Bigfoot would be afraid of her. Yes. Yes. Asthma. Kind of windy, though. Chilly. Hello, geese. A lot of geese this time of year. Seems like it. <laughs> All two of them. Nell is there. <laughs> No, it's my dad. I needed something hung to be hung in the kitchen. And we got our kitchen remodeled, I don't know, like last year or whatever. So, like, I'm too scared of my... Like, I'm, I can hammer shit, but, like, I don't want to ruin anything. But, like, I wasn't expecting it at 10.39, which is fine. I'm live. It just startled me. <laughs> Hello, chipmunk. Hello, chipmunk. <laughs> is that you, Foods? Let's see if I can zoom in more. Oh, that's terrible quality. <laughs> Lisa, um, <laughs> math will do that to you. Math will definitely do that to you. Hey, guys. So Hello. I'm just having a sit down here just to soak up a bit of sunshine, vitamin D, <laughs> and mm -hmm. yeah, there's all geese around. It's the only D you're getting. So I'm just hanging out with the geese. <laughs> And it's a really gorgeous. It's it's a really gorgeous day. Like the sky is blue, you know. There's no rain. It's not too hot. Oh, I thought you were. I like it. So, yeah, but it's a bit cool. All right, I'll speed her so, back up. I guess I'm kind of like surprised how quickly you can lose your stamina for um, exercise, and you know. I just, um, yeah, I'm just like not in the best of shape. <laughs> and especially just today, I'm feeling um, 
Did I miss a point in her life where she had stamina? You know, just a bit tired and um, like I can't walk too, too much. So I am just going to enjoy nature and do a little bit as I can. And, you know, just take it day by day beyond that. Try to walk a little bit every day. But I definitely want to bring up my stamina for um, exercise. It really bothers me that I can't walk very far without being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a great deal of discomfort I'm going to be going through for the next while. So I'm bracing myself for that. But even if it is uncomfortable getting out here, it is important for me to bring my physical, you know, my um, physical abil abilities. But you, what she doesn't realize is like, her going on her three minute walks and taking a break every two seconds, like that's all fine and dandy. Fine. She's moving. Like, let's be grateful for that. But you know, after this, she went back and had a mukbang. You know, foodie did. She has like eight a day. Sometimes she uploads two to three a day. <laughs> um, she just, she really has to watch what she's putting in her body. Cause like all that fried food and everything else walking for two minutes isn't really going to make a difference. Out of the trash that they're in right now seriously you know and I realize also that means eating healthy so that's something else that I'm going to continue to uh, try and really um, just eat healthier Slotted, a lot less, a lot less. so we'll see how that how this journey goes mm -hmm. again <laughs> but um hi oh how cute Okay, I'm in love with that bird. Oh my gosh, I'm like Snow White. You're like Snow White. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. She's like Snow White. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think you look more like one of the seven dwarves, but we'll just let you pretend, okay? Bird comes to me when I call it. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, it is so worth it to come out here and just spend some time. There's so much nature and animals. That's so cute. I was going like and this these birds just kept coming to me. Mm -hmm. I'm Snow White, I know it. Yeah, totally. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Snow White didn't have chapped lips and herpes. You might want to get that looked at. You never went back for treatment. Does anyone know what kind of birds they are? They're really small. So, so you know, they're just really small. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for listening to me talk. Uh -huh. um, just in a very, like, thoughtful mood today. So Thoughtful. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay. They don't like you. What is this? Turtle crossing. That's what it looks like. All right. So that happened. I, I don't know. She's looking rough. Foodie's looking rough. Snow sausage. <laughs> There's only Snow White that is white that Foodie likes. Remember when she was all mad? I, I didn't see the remake of Snow White. I don't even know if it's out, to be honest. But there was somebody who was like, were they Latina? And she was all offended that they were going to be playing Snow White. And then she, like, the white lady from Canada, I'm like, Snow White. I don't know. Oh, no. Yeah, it was somebody who was, like, Latina, I believe it was. And she was so upset. Hanging out with Seven Dwarfs, pretty sure Snow White picked up something. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is the content reactors be stealing. I know. I know. If I had half a chicken in a fold, I'm sure where, where would be a lot of animals around true. She's four foot tall and I'm guessing 400 pounds. How the F does that even work? I think she's bigger than 400 now. If you look at photos of her from when she was like 350 something, when she was back in Canada, she's like so much bigger. I'm talking about when she lived in Canada, not when she was visiting. She has to have figured out that she can't live in Kuwait and is now desperate to bring Scatman to Canada now. Watch out Canada if he comes. Like seriously, if you don't know who that guy is, I just happen to have a clip I can show you. Give me one second. I just have to pull it up. 
I think it's my suck it vo foodie video. Booty, foodie, whatever her name is. Suck it foodie. Oh, yes, there it is. How could I forget? All right. So just a little summary. Just a little summary. Salah, I can actually read the messages too if you want. Salah, her husband or fake husband, what, like he reached out to one of her beezers, K Bella. She was a paying subscriber of Foodie for a long time, I feel like. And they had a thing and it started when Foodie Beauty went to the ER, like one of the many times she had to go to the ER. He was DMing her that night asking how much she makes, what she does for a living. Does she make money other than from TikTok? Um, he was telling her he loved her. He wanted her to come to Kuwait until Foodie got back. <laughs> he was telling her he wanted to grape her. To, he wanted to poop on her. He wanted to, oh, there was a whole list of things. Um, he wanted to grape her Bible. He wanted to wear her cross around his balls. Um, all kinds of stuff. He was barking at her. She has zero friends and life experience. She has nothing to talk about. Oh, yes. Holy white Christian ass. Hold on. I could pull it up. But it's graphic. And then I'll show you guys the video. So I'm very aware we have new people wondering why we're so mean to Foodie Beauty. Well, there's plenty of reasons. So I bookmarked this. Give me one second. Am I even on the right one? Yeah. All right, well, let me play this while I look for it. So this is a little something I put called Suck It Foodie. It's her reaction to finding out that her fake husband wanted to grape her Beezer. Um, it's him barking like the little chihuahua bark that he has. <laughs> I'm telling you, if somebody asked me to bark for them, like I am whipping out I don't even believe like my I'm great right thing bark. Why am I wearing fucking hijab? I don't believe in anything oh, I'm God right now. Let me make it a little bit bigger, and I'm going to try and find those tweets. Hold on one second. I don't even believe in God right now. Why am I wearing fucking hijab? I don't believe in anything anymore. I gave my cats away for you. Yeah, fuck you. That's what you can do with your apology. Well, I feel like I'm talking to a real dog, a real slave, a pure dog. I'm going to shit on you and rape you and spit on your face. Get down on your knees, beg me to forgive you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry for people who assume that I'm a good person. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a hateful piece of shit. <laughs> I'm a hateful piece of shit. So that's a whole little summary right there, just to get you caught up on who these people are. I gave my cats away for you. I'm not mad at Chantel because she's a fake Muslim. I'm mad at her because she's a bad penguin. <laughs> oh my gosh, the woof, 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 woof. <laughs> All right, so he DMs her and says, hey, K Bella Beezer. Actually, she reached out to him first, I'm sorry. She says, hello, Salah, it's K Bella. He says, hi, K Bella Beezer. Da, 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 da. Let's just get to the juicy stuff. Good job on videos today. Happy New Year. He's impressed with her 300k followers on TikTok. Asks if she's famous or something, which is very telling in itself. He sends her photos of his nasty ass feet. And I'm going to spare you guys. I'm going to spare you guys. <laughs> but think of feet that have been walking through the mountains for a month. And you've become Bigfoot. They're very, very hairy. The toenails have crap all around and under them. And he's smoking a cigarette next to his dirty ass foot. Now, if some man sends me a picture of his dirty ass hairy mother effing foot with a cigarette that really needs to be ashed, I am blocking you and I'm calling you out for the world to see. <laughs> just so you know. And then he sends her another photo in the tub with his very hairy legs, his hairy feet, everything soaking, but his dirty ass toenails. So there's that. Did I paint a good enough picture for you guys? So then they start talking, yada, yada, yada. He says, every minute, every second, when you go outside your home and walk, your mind will be thinking of how to worship me. When you go to the bathroom, you will think that your face is at the toilet and I'm going to pee and poop on your face. When you sleep, 
you will think that you are sleeping under the bed, and I am on top of the bed like a king. You are worthless, just my garbage bin. I'm going to spit on your face so much. Did he really have to add the so much? <laughs> hey, Erica, long time no see. Oh my God, I'm not into foodie beauty, but I've sucked you in. Oh God, I have a million videos you can check out on her. So she says, I need you, daddy. I want you to completely control me. He says, if you can travel, come until Chantel comes. She says, I have no money right now. Sad face emoji. And he says, oh, shoot. Again, very telling. She says, I wish I could, daddy. They yap some more. He says, when you sleep, you will think that you are sleeping under the bed and I'm on top of you. The bed like a king. You are worthless. Just my garbage bin. Oh, yeah. I'm going to spit on your face so much. I need you. Da, da, da. All right. I have no money right now. Oh, shoot. I wish I could come, daddy. For now, even me, I don't have enough, to be honest. I paid a lot of bills and her ticket. Blah, blah. He's saying that about his wife. Um, she says, no worries. I'm not going anywhere. If you decide to keep me around, angel emoji, I'll have money eventually. He says, by the way, that is why the Egyptian broke up with you. He want to scam you. He needs a sugar mommy to pay for him and marry him to sponsor him to USA. He's talking about himself right there. He says, I don't know how you talk with an Egyptian. How low are you? Anyways, she says, no, to be honest, he pretended like he loved me, but he only used to, he only used me to get off when he was horny. And she says, I know, daddy, I'm so sorry. We'll continue. Um, when you have money, you're going to send me too, because I own you and I will take your money and it's honorable to you for sure, my slave. And then he does like that. I don't know, arm emoji, like working out, like strong, tough. She says, yes, daddy. We keep going. This is just so ridiculous. <laughs> he says, okay, continue worshiping me. Come on, worshiping me. Come on, slut. When you leave the conversa conversation, everything's erased, right, slut? He, she says, yes, daddy. He says, I am your God. Keep it in your mind, slut. She says, I won't forget. He says, anyone was talking like this before me? She says, no, daddy. I love it. She really played a good game here. Um, he tells her, you are pathetic, worthless, slave. <laughs> she says, I've been wanting you to be my owner for a long time. He says, why didn't you tell me that, you piece of shit? I would love it. She says, I was nervous to go behind Chantal's back. He says, I like to have dogs like you to control them and make fun of them while they worship me. Oh, there's more. Um... He says a little, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Okay. She says, ah, oh, daddy, I thought I was a special slave. He says, yes, you are. By the way, you are a lucky slave. Cause for real, I never, ever talk with any girl since I left Chantel. So weird. Why only you? She says, because I was made to serve you, daddy. He says, good answer, slut. You got to be proud and honored to be my slut. Um, all right. There's more. Polar. <laughs> so then here's a voice note. I'm not sure which one this is, but I don't know. All kinds of trigger warnings, just in case. This looks like you are my slave. Can you hear that? Don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue. Could you hear that? So he calls her a name and says, don't forget to clean the bathroom with your tongue, slut. Isn't he such a charmer? I mean, <laughs> so then he leaves a bunch of voice notes and says, why do you take so long or why do you take so long to reply? She says, because I get anxious sometimes recording voice messages and I'm sleepy. He says, shut up and record, bitch. Your voice makes me horny. So then she leaves voice notes. Um, he says, try hard. She says, I don't know how to be dominant. He says, I want to see what you do when you feel I insult you and dominate you because I make you look like a worthless shit, an effing dirty slut under my service. And then she says, get on your knees, you dumb little bitch. Tell me who owns you. And then she laughs and says, I tried. He laughs too. He wasn't impressed with that. He says, you will remain as useless slut. Am I really on the Cobra crew? I'm team saving somebody from now. That's what I'm doing. Um, so then he sends her pictures of prawn. 
um, I don't know if you guys want me to describe it, but I'm going to just, I'm, I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> just trust me, it's prawn. And he says, I will do all these with you and humiliate you. I'm going to spit on your face and stomp your gosh darn face and pee on you. Not the pee. So then he sends her somebody being peed on and says, my golden pee will be all over your face and body. Do you guys want to know more? Do you have a general idea of who this guy is? Um, he says, I graped you so bad. Did you finish? She says, maybe. He says, you sneaky bad girl. It's it's like, okay, there you go. Um, more sex talk. Um, he says, nice slave, good girl. I really worship your sexy ass. She says, good, I want you thinking about it 24-7. He says, yes, I'm always thinking about it. And imagine that on my face, on my beard, on my mouth, and I can't avoid it. He says, it's holy ass, holy Christian ass, wide ass. Um, and then he writes over and over and over to her, I worship your ass, 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 I worship your ass. Um, just take my word for it. It's over and over and over and over and over again. So clearly he worships her ass. She says, good boy. He says, I am your good boy. Where is the chain goddess? She says, around your throat. Um, more stuff I'm not going to read. <laughs> I think this, oh, now he's telling her your ass is more important than my whole family. And he says, goddess. She says, I'm here. I love that. And then he tells her again, your ass is better than my family. I'm reading this on a thread and I'm not showing it because there's prawn involved that he shares with her. And um, as brave as I've been lately, I'm not willing to show that on my stream. So you're going to have to find it elsewhere. <laughs> um, let's see. He tells her, I feel that you are a pure bitch and a pure worthless slave. Who's going to clean and kiss my feet and shoes every minute? Ew. Um, she says she's worse or worthless. I don't know. A bunch of stuff. He says, I feel like I'm talking to a real dog slave who has no personality, no dignity, no morals, just a pure dog with chain, drag you and pull you whenever I want and spit on you whenever I want, shit on you whenever I want, piss on you whenever I want. So this is her husband. <laughs> so he asks her, you should send me money because of this. You are worthless to waste my time on you. And she says, I have no money. Sad face emoji three times. He says, after you work, what? You will work. And how much is your salary usually, bitch? Do you see why I stay single? This is what exists out there. This is seriously what exists. <laughs> he says, you're such a goddess. What do you want to do with my wife? Okay, so I'm going to repeat that again. You're such a goddess. What do you want to do with my wife? She replies, get rid of her. He said, I said, you, what do you want to do? And she says, take her place. And he says, and her, she says, stay in Canada. And then he says, I can't, I love both of you. Meanwhile, he's talked to this. I don't even think they talk this all. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Kiss for 15 minutes. Some of the stuff, like I said, I have to skip because it's just not that kind of a stream. I mean, um, she tells him, I will twerk on your face and suffocate you. <laughs> Sorry. I've held it together this long. I've held it together this long and I don't know how. It gets worse. <laughs> okay. Okay. So All right, I'm trying to pull it together. Okay. She says, I will twerk on your face and suffocate you. And then he... <laughs> he says, wow, no farts? All right. All right. So he's very disappointed she's not going to fart on him, too. <laughs> so when she says, I'm going to twerk on your face and suffocate you, he, he says, wow, no farts? 
or what do you think, my bitch? And then she says, I will fart for you. And he says, where? And she says, on your face. And he says, wow, so hot. This is unprofessional. I'm sorry. I don't care. This is tweets that exist. I'm just reading them to you. And I can't hold it together because it gets... Okay. So he wants her to fart on his face. Um, and he says, if you be a good girl, we're going to meet up and I'm going to find my ways. And she says, yeah, and make Chantel pay for it. He says, you think so? She says, yes. And he says, she'll pay for another girl to come to me and F her. He says, exactly. Or she says, exactly. And he says, imagine what she's going to do. And she says, nothing. He says, nothing. <laughs> wants that pink eye, I guess. <laughs> All right, should we keep going? He tells her, your eyes on the ground, your head down, don't look up. She says, yes, God. And then he says he's going to grape her one day. So <laughs> that's that's a summary. Um, I don't know if I skipped the eating her for eight hours. Oh, no, here it is. All right, so I might burst out laughing again. Hold on. I got to pull myself together. Well, that's how you get pink eyes. Erica, I know this is probably a lot for you, but this is the law. So, hold on, I'm going to hit my vape. <laughs> I just can't believe people like this exist in the world. Like, of all the things I could think of somebody, like, what I would want them to do to me. Farting in my face is not up there. It's just not. Um, thanks, Mommy. That was a bad <laughs> You like the bedtime story? Hey, Marty. <laughs> By the way, you guys, that's not um that's not music biz Marty, but this is our new friend Marty, and I just happen to love the name. All right, so he says, um, wait, she says something, I'm not gonna say that. And then he says, Now you're free. She says, Yes. He says, Bring your sexy, perfect ass, goddess. She says, Yes, daddy. He says, I want okay. He wants to put his head inside something and worship it. And he wants to lick her holy Christian ass for eight hours and then he goes into detail while she's farting and then he says American sexy ass um he says I created you to worship me she says I will worship you every single day my perfect daddy she says or he says yes you better mean it and not only acting because I am the only god all right more of him he says, do you know my last video part two about garlic breath? It took me one day to finish it. He says, imagine 24 hours, but separating like two hours working, then break, then a half hour, then you work two hours and so on. I can't believe he's so excited to be working. <laughs> he says, it's not easy. So let me give you, a, let me repeat this again. This is what his day consists of. Dragging garlic bread but he's really impressed with his editing and it took like two hours working. Then you get a break for half an hour and then two hours working and so on. He says, it's not easy. She says, yes, I know, daddy, you did a good job. He says, I wrote the script. I prepared pics with whole edits and text and the music and the sound effects, audio, etc. intro, outro. That's why I put in a lot of effort. He's so excited. And that video wasn't really that great. Um, so he keeps going on about his editing. And then he says, you will be my second girl, and you don't have the right to talk. Shut up and worship me without being annoying. <laughs> she says, yes, daddy. And then he calls her a bunch of names. One, two, three, four, five of them. And she says she promises never to tell anyone she is all his. And then he says she will come back because the bypass after a year and a half. And then she says, well, yeah, of course. He says she didn't expect it. She will start a diet and exercise. Hopefully it works for her, he says. She says, I think I'm better for you, to be honest. And then he says, at least I can carry you. <laughs> These are real. No, this is real. These are real messages. Texts that came out. He had to admit to them because he was caught. He was caught. So... <laughs> These are very, very real. They broke up for like a whole day over it. Um, yeah. So anyways, he's bragging that she's going to start a diet and exercise, which she still hasn't done. And then when she says, I think I'm better for you, he says, at least I can carry you. That's got to burn. That's got to burn. 
Um, he says, I heard it many times. I'm not native. She said, do you think, did you, did you think she was smaller from her pictures? Talking about foodie. And then he says, oh, okay. She says, were you surprised when you saw her in person? And he says, no, she showed me everything. And then Kabela asks, oh, okay, do you like bigger girls? He says, in real life was bigger a little bit because she's so short. <laughs> Or because she's short. He says, not tall. I have no problem with any body shape except the skinny. They are disgusting. So he has no problem with any body shape except the skinny because they are disgusting. Yeah. Um, so he leaves voice. Oh, wait. Are these voice notes? Oh, he tells her that he's in the mood, if you know what I mean. And then he says, what are you going to do? with your ass and she says fart he says where and she says on your face and he asks and he asks what is it gonna smell like i don't know if i can go on <laughs> what is it gonna smell like um is this his barking Oh, here's another voice note. I have my little headset on, so just hopefully you guys can hear it. This is something he says to her. Get down on your knees, beg me to forgive you. Get down on your knees, beg me to forgive you. Um, more screenshots. Let's see. Be our slave, and when we pee on you and poop on you and clean everything like a biatch. It calls her some more names. She says, no, 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 sorry, I misunderstood. No, Chantal, only your slave. He says, F you, biatch, you are the biggest, a choice name or a word. And then he says, I've ever seen. It rhymes with boar. Um, he says, no offense. Oh, wait, she says she wants to worship his eggplant. And then he says, no offense for your old religion. I'm your religion and God now anyways. But I'm just saying like it's sexy. And she says, yes, very. And he asks if she likes to be humiliated, if she likes blasphemy of religions. And then he says, too hot, I think. She says, yes, oh my God, not too hot. And then he says, not too hot. She said, no, I love it. So more of the poop on you. He really wants to poop on people. Um, let's keep going. He says, I swear to God, if you went out the home without telling me or sending me your pick or told me where to go, I would, he says, grape you. And then he calls her a biatch, another name. And then he calls her a slave loser. He says he's going to grape the heck out of her. He says she's, you know what? I'm done. You get the general idea of who this guy is, right? Be general idea. So that is who Foodie Beauty is choosing to stay with. They broke up for like a whole day. She did give away her cats for him. Um, she was with one guy who's currently, if you guys haven't heard of Natter, he's currently going through a court case for allegedly graping a senior. So she has a type. She has a type. This is not the first time she's been with somebody like this. She baited him into blatantly saying so much crazy shit with minimal prompting, no breaks. Whatever she did, baited, catfish, I don't care what K. Bella did, he still wants to do this to people. You know, I'm not saying you're, like, defending her, but I'm saying I've heard, like, a bunch of people argue, well, like, she knew what she was doing, and she baited him, and she did this. Either way, at least now the community knows to stay away from Salah. Um, he's disgusting. Keywords, gave away, not stolen. Exactly. He just wants to be both an abuser and abused. It seems like it. Now just went live. Ooh, okay. Off we go. Is everybody okay after hearing that, by the way? I'm just very aware, very aware new people are coming over from like Cobes and stuff like that. And so I want people to know why we talk about this lady and her husband and how disgusting they are. All right, let me check my subscriptions. Yeah, she's live. All right. Yeah, it was all him either way. That is what he wants to do. And he's lurking in the community. He's talking to women left. Always muted. Hmm. Anyways, whatever I was saying, lobster. Are you the lobster mac and cheese from Chantal's chat? Or Probably. <laughs> are you a new type of entity type deal situation? Whatever. And hello? 
Black Widow. Are you really a Black Widow? I hey, saw Brandy. you before earlier. I I met a woman. I had this one boyfriend. Well, he ain't a boyfriend. He's a piece of shit. Hey, I'm not Anyways, your toilet. His dad, I met his dad. His dad was in. I'm not your toilet is here. And I think his like his second marriage thing. Wait, what? Oh, with a black widow. I wonder reloaded? if he's still alive. But anyways, that's not my situation to worry about. It's better. It's at. like, how how was your dad so hot, but you're so ugly? Oh my gosh. I'm like, you did not get any genes from your dad. You got the blob genes from your mother. <laughs> You got the blobby shit genes and shitty actions from your mother, but your father wants to get involved with a black widow. Okay, well, good luck to you. Pip pip cheerio. Pip pip cheerio. <laughs> pip pip cheerio. Okay. I'm rolling with it. Pip pip cheerio. B Mike for twenty. Who are you? You're you're making videos on SJM and some other man. How do you know about SJM enough to make a video about what what the fuck is going on with that loser son of a bitch <laughs> cock sucking motherfucker? Oh my God. Um, I think tonight's gonna be promising, you guys. Uh, what what's going on? Like, I need to give me the details, please. I need to know. I'm not going to click on the video. Why are you worried about the guy you sent your nudes to when you have a boyfriend like Josh? No, because he's a trigger. But just give me the details. Like, let me know what the problem is. I don't know, but I'm going to walk around saying Pip Pip Cheerio now. So watch out. To get a certain popcorn? Like, do you have to pop it? Like, it's hot or what? Or is there already, like, a pre-popped, like, pimp? pre-popped pimp <laughs> mm. a pre-popped pimp i'm confused who wants to talk sjam wants to talk to your dick what oh well, if he wants to talk to your dick you but you better have it <laughs> protected at all because sjam will try to suck it oh my gosh didn't you try to suck it, too? He'll try to suck it, so you better watch out, Mike. I, I don't know if you're new to the scene or what or who you are. or If you're some Matthew. person undercover pretending to be a man, but maybe you're not really a man. I, I don't know. Matthew, go to sleep all you can before she terrifies you. Have sweet dreams. Oh, I don't know who you are, but the fact that you want to cover SJM... When that boy doesn't deserve any attention, I don't know. I'm just a little bit suspicious. Ew, call Esh. Oh, fuck no, Kapoor. bitch. Oh, fuck Esh, Jim. Hey, Capone. Not the teeth. I really hope someone is. Why would I call him? Oh, he would hope and wish that would give him all the content for his whole fucking year, bitch. Yeah, suck my dick on soft, bitch. Mic drop. <laughs> Every time you say that, I'm more and more convinced you have one. <laughs> Mic <Mike> drop. <laughs> Okay, that's not cool. Like, I don't know anything about his sexuality other than he says he likes women. So people saying he's gay and everything else, that's not cool. It's just not cool. No. My Where'd boy Popcorn called the big cheese. It's me, boo, Charlie. What Marty said? The said? big cheese. You wouldn't be happen to talk about you wouldn't be talking about my music biz, Marty, would you be? Uh, circle jerk, baby though. <laughs> yeah, we all know about that circle jerk, don't we? I covered a funny moment. What was his funny moment? Explain I, I'm not clicking on that son of a cock sucking whore, so explain oh. the funny moment to me, please. Or as all oh, the Amberlynn content watchers would say, moment, can you share the moment with me, please?
Is all I can have from Corn Pimp? For my what is this? <laughs> Please. What is even happening? Please don't stop the music. Yeah, the music is in my brain, baby doll. Same. <laughs> the music is always in my brain at any given chance. You never know what will pop out of oh, Mr. Bucket. Okay, Jim, you're cool then. Balls pop out of my mouth. <laughs> you never know what song will come out, baby doll. That's why you guys love and cherish me at your utmost, because otherwise... You wouldn't know what to do without me. You wouldn't know who to laugh and uh-huh. circle jerk off to. Because you ain't going to get your dick off the breezy. That's for goddamn <laughs> sure. <laughs> if, I, if I was a man and I had a dick and I saw breezy, I wouldn't be able to jack off for at least two years. Two whole years? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Two years. I'm just saying. If I was a man with a dick and I saw Breezy, heard her face, heard her uh-huh. squatching like a banshee in the wind uh-huh. within the willow leaves. Oh, my God. I- I'd Lorena bother myself, take, like, baby doll. Th- nothing she says is bothering me right now, you guys. So don't worry. I find this hilarious. Like, she is so bothered by me. Throw my own shit out on the highway for a fucking goddamn Bigfoot to pick up. And play like a ukulele shit. God damn, oh bitch. God. Don't even play me like that. Don't even play me like that, bitch. Lorena Bobbitt and the Bigfoot could collaborate on such an item like that. Lorena <laughs> Bobbitt? I can't even. I can't even right now. I just, I can't. I don't even, like, I'm not a dude, but I hurt hearing that name. I just, like, uh, I'm done. I hurt for you guys out there. I'm done. I'm done you're on an acid trip oh no don't be taking acid listening to me you you you'll you'll be going into dimensions that you never knew existed (laughs) but that's the point right you want to know how many dimensions are in there are you gonna tell us how many i don't know oh if my butt is nothing to write home about i'm sorry you feel that way lobster let's see your ass we're on this dimension why, why can't we spin the fuck out of this planet and go somewhere else? I don't know. I ask that same or, thing every day. Belong? I don't know. But that's besides the point, baby doll. Okay. Besides the point. Mm-hmm. We're going to. Hey, laser. Hot tits Jim. and fat clits. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. No, so let me have a look. A little bit of drink, but oh, geez, not too much. Well, I hope you guys have time tonight because we might be here a while. <laughs> All right, let me skip forward a little bit. She's drinking. There you go. Let's get Breezy's. Breezy does not have a butt. I don't. She wishes she had the butt. Wait, mm-hmm. what? 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 What in the butt? I'm sorry. Not. I'm not saying you're overweight, but like in comparison to like, I don't know what you're expecting, but like, I think my butt's hot. I think it's hot. It's grabbable. It's fuckable. I don't know what your issue is with my butt, but like, maybe you should stare at it a little bit longer. You two can have a nice butt if you like worked out and stopped drinking. And being a general embarrassment to society and your parents. <laughs> what? What in the butt? Nobody has ever stuck nothing up Breezy's butthole. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know men will fuck whatever they can, but if I was a man. You're literally living proof of that now. Literally. I would rather pay for a fucking Russian bride than even what try to fuck hell? a crazy hoe like that. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. You're I'm, gross. I'm just, I'm You're gross. Upset. You're gross. I don't know. Maybe one of your trolls will send you a big giant poster of my ass to hang up so you can remember it. <laughs> even the poop don't want to be in her butt. The poop is like... 
Okay, like, I'm going to accept whatever else you have to say, but, like, do you realize you're not 12? <laughs> the the poop is like, why, why? What, what goes on? We, we got to figure out a slogan for poop. We a have slogan to for out poop? A slogan for poop that doesn't want to be in somebody's butthole. <laughs> Okay, I feel like you are just weird. The poop is like getting... Yeah, the poop doesn't want her. I think you need to get... You literally need to get with Salah. You guys have some sort of thing about poop. Who are you? Are you a lobster making cheese? Who are you? I guess, Zan. I might be a little (laughs) bit buzzed, but not too much. I could tell. And I never cook the food on. No, me and Joshy were on the phone for a few hours. And every time I said I get on, and and then I never cook my food. And that's fine. I'll cook it tomorrow. But yeah, me and Josh are fine. Everything with us is fine. I'm going to go to bed here soon. What time is it? She won't go to bed. Oh, yeah. That's a perfect She won't go to bed. bed. 2.19. Wait, Let's who's see. not a crack? I don't know where my weed is right now. My weed, I don't know. I, think, I don't know where my weed is, where my bong. Like, it might all be downstairs. And mm-hmm. honestly... The super silver haze that I had was fucking banging. He don't. He doesn't have any more of that. Oh darn! And I got pink runs because I had that in the past, and I thought the pink runs was good, but apparently it's not. So I have shit weed at the moment, but I don't even know where my weed is right now. Is any gonna? Is anybody gonna be devastated if we go to real time or like I skip forward a little bit? No, to be honest with you. Um. Oh, hello. <laughs> That's. Oh, where's Joshy at? Her and Cyrus. Where's Joshy at to feel the slip and slide? Hello. God damn. Where is Josh? Do you know that I pray every single night for Music Biz Marty to cover now? Like, I pray for that every single night. I want to see that shit go down more than anything, more than anything. (laughs) Where is Josh to feel the slip and slide? That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not going to be no more the slip inside? Where Where's Josh? <laughs> where's Josh? Hello. The slip and slide? I'm sorry. Where's Josh? The slip and slide. He missed the best part. That's all. <laughs> And um, I don't know where my bong is. Dude, if you're uh, that if you're that loose, you have to refer to yourself as a slip and slide. I'm gonna think that you're the hoe you always talk about, not everybody else. Slip and slide downstairs, and I don't know where the weed is either. It's probably you're more of like a water park. Be downstairs. I have the alcohol, of course. Yeah, don't touch the alcohol. If you also touch my weed, I'll put a demogorgon fucking spell on you. Maybe I shouldn't skip. Oh, what's the song from the little, the little, um, what? Scooby Doo. I put a hex on you. I think you did. I gotta listen to that song. The first time I visited Josh, he played that song a few times, and I got it stuck in my brain. I just need to play it. Quick DoorDash or some adult and diapers. I'm so bald in the back of my head. Oh, I'm so ugly. Marty's butt. Like, I literally feel like I've been pulled. Like, my hairs have been pulled. You feel oh, like your hairs have been pulled? I don't my hair to grow back. I don't like being a bald cunt. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. oh men like that fucking cunt bald, yo. <laughs> yeah, men like that cunt bald, but they want this fucking... They want this one full of fucking hair. You do realize, like, you have a giant gap on the top of your head, right? Like, in your scalp, it's, like, two inches wide? I don't think we should be coming for anybody's hair. And yet, I only have (laughs) a few more strands than that one cunt whore, but... Anyways... What is your name, Dement? 
What is your name? That's what simping is. Don't be that. Dim. I can't read your name. My eyeballs are too blind for your dumb. Sh- your eyeballs are too blind for your dumb. <laughs> yeah, my lens is cracked. Uh, I am bald. I'm not tripping, baby doll. I'm literally bald in quite a few. I could tell. Um, I'm not tripping. I am bald. Mm-hmm. Am I the straight definition of bald like Mr. Clean? No. <laughs> but am I bald? Yes, the fuck I am. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the fuck I am, bald bitch. <laughs> I'm not gonna have other people tell me otherwise. Yes, this is a disaster. <laughs> Hey, Danielle. Hey, get up to? I don't know. Jacked <laughs> off to my man. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. <sighs> Went to Walmart. Did not eat. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't fucking know. She's going to be raging about me a lot tonight because her chat keeps asking, so who is breezy? So just FYI. I'm kind of wanting to go forward a little bit. Sorry, you guys. All right. We're going closer to real time. Here we are. Closer, at least. Oh, it'd help if I press play. Make her come constantly when they're just fucking naughty, naughty. Not even- Wait, what? I could buy her a ring. Breezy only wishes she had a man that could buy her a ring. <laughs> I can't take this shit seriously. Make her come constantly when they're just fucking naughty, not even- naughty. But who needs a man to come anymore? No offense, men. Even doing the... Making me come constantly every time we. Oh Lord, oh Lord. He only wishes. Yeah, I only wish. Every day. Breezy bunch, fuck all, funkle face. Funkle face. <sighs> she she only wishes that she could have half of what me and Josh have. I don't know, but you had something on your upper lip. I'm glad you just licked it off. Uh oh. Wait, what? What did you say? Hold on. My Twitter is like blowing the fuck up. <laughs> mm. Apparently, that's all it takes is a ring loaf. That's all it takes. Mm. I like. <laughs> no, I don't have six chins. I definitely don't have that. I wonder if her chins wobble when her and jo- never mind. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Oh, oh, she's such a beautiful goddamn. Oh, I'd love to suck her titties, but. Okay. I can't even read all of that message right now. I can't. I can't, I can't read none of that right now. Whose titties are we sucking? I'm so confused. Mm, I'll read that another time. Because <laughs> right now is not it. Yep, it's not it. I stopped. <laughs> I want to know who it is. I'm sorry if we're talking about someone's titties. Like, I want to see if they're up there. No, I didn't see any, unfortunately. Oh, geez. Hold on. Really take in her gobble gobble. There's one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. I'm losing count at five. She has a whole lot of chins. I don't need to wipe down my camera. It's called it's cracked. Oh, Booty? Baby doll. I have Booty has nice Oh, tits. there's the lens. It's called I have a crack on my lens, you moron. Right, I like. So I could literally get a Thank wet you, rag and wipe down your cock and it would still be dirty. So. Oh jeez. You ain't gonna Aww, fix Aw, Aaron gave me a ring. Thank you. Nothing, baby doll. It's a crack. You, you thought you're smart, but you're, you're, you're nothing, so. Okay. You, you wish you were smart. You wish you were something. But you're not. 
She wants to suck foodies boobies. Have you guys seen them? Have you seen them? I don't know why anybody would. I'm not trying to be mean. Like, I think women are beautiful, except for foodie and now. I think boobs are beautiful. But if you've seen foodie, you can literally play a game of tic-tac-toe on them. And that's all I will say. No, Breeze is a bald cunt. I'm also bald, too. You don't have to be <laughs> bald all the way to be bald, okay? Yep, I'm bald. Is she more bald than I am? Yes. Okay. But I'm also bald. You are. Am I completely bald? That's why people need to learn their language. Completely, almost, somewhat, halfway. I don't know, but can you get a napkin and wipe your upper lip? Like, that's all. Continue roasting me, but can we please get whatever it is on your upper lip off? Halfway toupee. <laughs> oh, I have a toupee. Well, from what I've seen of your nudes, you got a whole ass wig down there. So I guess I could just borrow from you. Halfway toupee, touche. <laughs> I have to mute myself. Um, halfway to pay to, whatever. That should be a song title for all you little fuckers. Uh, I might be a little bit buzzed, but I don't care. I'll suck some fat nipples and clit in front of Joshy. Okay. I'll, I'll suck fat nipples and clit with Joshy. I don't give a shit. I need therapy after thinking about these women. I have women <laughs> hitting on me all the fucking time. Do you? I don't care. Like, I know the way oh. I look doesn't justify what I want. What? But I know what I'm attracted to, so whatever. If I was presented the hot shit that I need, then so be it. If not, then I'm going to bypass. So. Okay. I've had women hit on me uh -huh. and they're so ugly i'm like ew no give me the hot women then sure no no hot woman is gonna hit on you i'm sorry like you are not even a two out of ten you want to give me these skin bitch mm. i would lick some clit for joshy i would lick some clit with joshy i don't give a fuck Go get Foodie Beauty. I think you should add her to your little thruple. I think that would be really fun. I'm just saying. I'm not joining them if Nal's involved. I don't care. <laughs> like, ever. If Nal's involved, I would dry up and there would be no nothing happening. Never. Never. Foodie would take them, though. <sighs> Yeah, a two on a good day. God, I feel like she's going to like come through the computer at me and go, ah! Um, I wash my coochie on a daily basis, you dumb slut. Oh, that's good. That's why I literally masturbated to my oh, Jesus. own self earlier and licked it off my face. Oh, oh well, my I need God. to wash myself. Okay. Oh, my God. I don't think so. You probably need to wash yourself. Is That's what you're smelling the barracuda. I hope everybody is clipping this if you need to, because this stream might disappear. I don't know if it's going to be allowed to stay up, but let's continue. Ricotta, cunt. Jesus. You're smelling your own barracuda ricotta or, or oh, your Lord. own mother's roast beef, baby. Oh, my gosh. It ain't coming for me. That's oh, for Lord. Sure. I think I'm going to vomit. Are you guys okay, by the way? <laughs> I mean, I've heard some things tonight. Unfortunately, I popped into a Cyrax stream, and I'm going to spare you the details of that. Well, it wasn't Cyrax. It was Marty covering Cyrax. And I almost just about threw up there. And then now we're here doing this. And if I mute, it's because I'm literally vomiting. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Did you guys hear that Marty stream, by the way? I like welcome to the breezy punch. What a time to join. 
Welcome, hi, like. Carrie, hi. This has been really gross. It started with me reading Salah's DMs, and it just didn't get better after that. At all. All right, I'm going to skip forward a little bit. Transaction. I'm sure. All right. Yeah. We're at real time. If you don't... Oh, shit, I paused it. Oh, shit. Hold on, you guys just disappeared. Nope. Yeah, well... Okay. <sighs> oh, yes. crap. Exit full screen, If Ed. the lens was cracked, we'd see a crack. It's just no. Okay. Yeah, really? It's got a crack. Go fuck your mother and her crack because it spread waiting for your fucking little carrot cock all fucking night. So shut up. Wow. Shut up. God, uh, what? I don't even I know what even to say. That says I can't read it. Hey, Richard. <sighs> blah, blah. You bore the fuck out of me. Uh, I've been listening. She is vile. Hey, Saint. What, you gotta look to find the cock? Like, the little buried, like... You don't have to look to find Josh. Josh's cock is at salute 100% oh, all the boy. time. Good to and know. That's why you don't call him baby doll for nothing. Or not baby doll. You don't call him energizer bunny for nothing. <laughs> you call Josh baby doll when he salutes? And then all you little losers looking for your little baby carrot cocks when Josh has it going on at all the given points at all the times. I don't know. Satan, is she talking about somebody in the chat with the baby carrot or is she talking about Busy Little Bee's husband? I'm not sure. I tell you. Did I say that? Oops. Oh, he's leaving me. Oh, that's not true. Josh isn't leaving me. That's why, why I literally got off the phone with him before I went live with you people. Wait, but what? I'm le- <laughs> okay, that's fine. Val like Enchanted Roses, Val? I'm so lost. Called S-Jam? I'm sorry you've never had love in your life. I love Josh. Well, that's good. You should probably stop abusing him then. Or being abusive, I guess I should say. Speeding her up. Where are my mods? Hiding? Your Where psycho? Where are my mods? What, what, these people are so gross. Someone asked her why she talks incest so okay. much. Uh, okay. Obviously, my, my phone's... Okay, I'm just going to ask. Did she sound okay? It's like, was Val doing okay? Because I care. Sounds my ringer. My phone hasn't been going off, but Val, okay. Too? Oh, this is too close. Like, way too close. It is disturbing. Breezy chose violence. Sometimes I do. With words. We could tell how high you are. Of course That's I don't sure. have mods. Of course I don't. Okay, she was being I don't sassy. have okay. enough people I could ever trust in my fucking pathetic life. I know. That's and that's fine. And that's why people I don't care. I've got a hot man that loves me and treats I I've only wanted to know Josh uh-huh. my whole life. Can what? we get out of your nose, please? Literally, I could... Okay, yeah, I'm sick. Not even a whole seven years. It's six years and 292 days older than him. <laughs> sorry. A whole seven years would be six years and 306... So th- I really want her to rage while we have to look up her nose. I don't 365 know. 365 minus 292. I don't know what that is. But I'm not that much older than him. I love this man. I love this man with all of my heart. 
you're full of shit because if you love that man you wouldn't be such an abusive toxic human and you wouldn't break his stuff or threat him threaten him with eight dollar machetes you're obsessed which is actually really scary this is not love only wish i could have known him sooner i have no rebuttal i have no rebuttal against all these hate okay Carl, you please these people want me to watch their video and i don't care in what world do you live in that you want to watch hate videos about what world not the world that i've made what is the world that you've made so when people disrespect me, when I tell them I don't want to know anything and they still say, you don't respect me. I've said it time and time. I, I don't care who's saying what or what. I'm not mm -hmm. going to, you can tell me within text. What? Obviously I'll have to read the text. If you have ears that have been listening to me for some time, you're not. Yeah, she's a hard 39, though. Like a hard 39. Oh, well, I'm not going to. So if you send it to me, okay. You better read my response in text. Because why you want to give these people the time of day is beyond me. Mm -hmm. but I'm not going to give you my response on Instagram. Or whatever YouTube, whatever the fuck the dumb shit is. Her world is a porta potty. <laughs> hey, blue. Constantly over and over. You're you're beautiful. You're like a thousand plus. I'm a zero, negative. Yeah. Six hundred degrees. That's like the truest thing she's ever said. You could get every man I've wanted in my life. I don't need people to harass you over it. I don't need to be harassed either for who I like. Brandy said she should feel like shit if Josh's dad looks her up on YouTube. There isn't one good thing about her. It's all disgusting, and I'm sure people are sending Clint these videos. I hope they are. So I'm going to go to bed. I hope all of you have a good night. And whenever, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, you're pretty damn loaded. And I love my Josh, and I hope he fucking knows. Him. I'm gonna have to figure out what link I unhooked it with. <sighs> okay. Anyways, I have a point to all of that, but it don't matter because I'm already on my peach. So someone told her Josh deserves better. I was already on a peach, but then you got to go do your other peach. and <laughs> It's fine. I'm not judging nobody. Nobody's judging me. And, you know, I love my Josh. Bath time lady. <laughs> and so she just... I was on the phone with Josh for a few. That's why I didn't go live. Yes, highlight. I was going to go live a few different times. I'm like, that's fine. I'll just cook it tomorrow. Okay. You do that. But I want people to leave my Joshy alone. Who's bothering Josh? And he's not going to respond. Oh, what was that kind of light? Holy shit. Um, I my light bulbs. Someone in her chat named Sad Cobra is trying to get a wrench from her. I love my light bulbs. <laughs> That's my eyeballs. I have my Sporin. eyeballs closed but i only have so many certain pictures left i don't like know the and like the light i have my i have one light on thank god we got away from her pores like i was really tired of looking in them <laughs> i have one light on in my room and it keeps every time i close my eyes hey, it Laka. keeps blooming what did tone say all Clint has to do is tell Josh mm, to marry her. I think her. that's a ghost. I think that's just my. It would be over drunk. in a week. Mm. Will she fight the lamp tonight? People are telling her go to sleep. They said, "Man, I want to fucking build my." Own. Someone told she needs a she shed by behind Josh's house. Own house in Casper, just like Josh. He can have his eight. My, my fucking dream house would be right next to Josh. 
and that would be such an art piece within itself like josh has a clock tower dream mansion and i've got a one story fucking <laughs> that would be such an art piece within itself like Zoom out. I know. Actually, he could be such a rich man he wants to be. He really could. He really could. I would like to recommend to you this pore cleansing solution by Hero. It's like Hero Cosmetics. Um, you use it twice a day for two weeks and it'll really help you out with your issue. Supposedly, mm. Cobra has a huge. Really? I miss my man. So you shouldn't much. have told me that. I got a post pick sooner now. I, I miss my Josh. I don't care if it's for 30 something degrees inside. I would be there for you because that's all I want. I, I'm not marrying you for the snow or the. <laughs> the snow? I want to marry you because you're just who you are. Not me going to Reddit to go search it. <laughs> Don't mind me. I hate that people have treated Josh so bad. Or I'm, like, I'm trying to find it. Because he doesn't conform to your societal fucking... I On my way. So much. I'm so jealous of people who got to flirt with... And then I come along and he's probably like, oh yeah, you're some stupid... I can't find it. And I even got his, his, his this YouTube, view. <laughs> video, YouTube video. What do you call it? Aaron, is Aaron listening right now? Will you please send me the video? I don't know why I want to know, but I really want to know. I even got his iPhone video m messed with. This is so creepy watching her before lips. Before I bought it so he wouldn't get sidetracked or caught. Wanting to, aka, still, uh, uh, whatever you call it. I hope Aaron's awake. It's an emergency. But no, my plants look good. The one that I am trying to root for, Josh, I did get sun bleached for at least one or two. Eh. But it'll bounce back. Are we small? Oh, let me unpin this comment then. I'm disappointed. Oh, shit. What is a red whiskey? I can't even read the chat. I was, like, expecting a really hairy 12-incher or something. I'm about to pass out. Red I got it. Whiskey. <laughs> Send it to me, Satan. Send it. You might be talking about that Baja Blast. So, I don't have high hopes for it, but I'll do it. Well, that sucks. And I know I've been on here for a while. I've literally asked Josh about some of these people. Nothing to brag about. And I only want the best from my man. He he wants to drive the fucking. I mean, if it was bigger than two inches, I would have got the obsession. Like I had high hopes of stumbling across this like giant picture, but like now, <sighs> my little hopes and dreams are crushed. Most beautiful fucking vintage. Okay. That's fine, Josh. Let somebody manage your money for you to do that. Whether it's me or so, he could just so do that, was that you? within one stream. Oh, I got a message. That I only wish I could imagine. <laughs> like he... Hold on. Hold on. I got the... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh. <sighs> oh shit. It's very red. Very red. I'm going to exit out of this now. <laughs> Thanks. -y. I wasn't expecting to spit on the hand. I just wasn't expecting that. Gosh. Wow. Thank you. I mean, I thought it was going to be smaller by the way you guys talked, but it, I mean, 
It's about the size of the burrito in his hand. That's all I could say. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. Maybe it's just my phone or something. It looks very, very red. Very red. All right. I really need this off my phone. I'm deleting. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really happy I saw that. <laughs> All right, I'm skipping forward a little bit. I don't know if she's going to bed or not. Yeah, I mean, it's something. <laughs> yes, yeah, pretty much, Sam. That is what came across my phone. A burrito in one hand and a smaller burrito in the other. Um, is it better than Salah's? Yes. Hands down. Hands down better than Salat's. <laughs> She's passing out. Well, that's okay. I got this little video now to keep me entertained. Looking all red and the size of a burrito. Yeah, I think she passed out. We could just chit-chat for a few minutes. Popcorn ceiling. Yeah, you can tell it's an older house because of that. And I so badly want to scrape it off. Like, I would have so much fun doing that. So gross. It pretty much was. Let me turn her down. Um, I mean, I could have accepted the video if I didn't have to see the whole giant, like, phlegm go to his hand first. But um, all I know is him and Nal are very phlegmy people. He's probably beaten the poor thing. I mean, is that why it looks like that? Uh, I guess so. Um, I can't get the image out of my head now. Fuck. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Now I know what he looks like, and I, I don't know if I could ever look at him the same. Well, this was fun. I'm sorry I traumatized you guys with DMs and all of that. <laughs> Jesus. It's very red. It's very, very red. I don't think I've ever seen one quite so red. Like, fire engine red. Um, it's all good when you sit on Cobra's, yes, it's all good -o when you sit on Cobra's Hardino. <laughs> Have I seen Cyrax's? <coughs> I haven't seen Cyrax and it's not anything that I want to see. Like I would still like to see tomorrow. I have high hopes of doing that. So please do not send me that. Please. If you love me, please do not send that to me. <laughs> You've never seen it? I don't know if we want to. I heard something about pepperoni. I don't remember what how exactly it went down. I don't know if I want to know. He has an infected eggplant. It's Oh, Jesus. I imagine it looks like his tongue and his head. You saw it high like and you're still okay? Maybe he used too much tactical soap. That would explain it. And he's not using the right lotion, I guess. You'll be ruined forever. Okay, do I want to take this risk? No, stand strong. You do not want to see it. You don't want to see it. You don't need to know. Some things are better left unseen. Okay, do not look at it for your own well-being, <laughs> okay? I picture it scabby like his head. Oh, Lord, help me. I don't know why. I don't know why I came live. I really don't. Um, but thank you for this. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, oh my God. And I'm picturing Cyrax's tongue. Oh, I need like a timeline cleanse. I have something for us. Do you want to see a hike in the mountains? Actually, I'm not playing it in this stream because you see the back of my family's heads and I'm just not putting that in the same stream. So never mind. I don't have a timeline cleanse. I don't. Hopefully no one sent Josh any apricots. You can, and by the way, you can't see my family. I wouldn't dox them. Um, it's just the back of their heads, and it would feel very disgusting putting that in this live. So we'll do that hike another day. Cyrax's teeth and butt worms. Why do you hate me? Why? What have I ever done to you, Brandy? <laughs> we all need an exorcism. Uh, yeah. Anyone who saw the Silas video has seen it all. Oh, I heard about that. How do you stick that up there and why would you want to? I 
I'm in pain. I'm in physical pain thinking about it. We need to hold hands in group therapy again. Yeah, let's go to therapy tomorrow. Like, how is noon for you? And who wants to drive the bus? We'll take a party bus. It just won't have alcohol. Maybe some THC and sparkling water. I think we deserve some of that. Please think of cute cats. I'm really trying, but the tongue just keeps going to the forefront of my mind and all its yellow, crusty, layered glory. Oh, Jesus, help me. Take the wheel. <laughs> it gets worse. The stylus, he does a whole ass fidget. A fidget spin? Like on top of like he just puts it on there and takes it for a spin or he shoves it, you know, don't answer that. Don't answer that. <laughs> Please bake some cookies. Please. We need cookies. <laughs> Noon sounds good. You'll drive the bus. Okay. Sounds great. Did, can our bus have a pole on it? Can we have a pole? I'm glad you were done eating too, beautiful regret. I mean, I don't plan on eating for the next 24 hours. More weight loss coming my way. All right, we're at real time now. And I'm still not okay. I don't, I, Danielle, we don't want to know. Okay, we don't want to know. <laughs> you didn't know about the fidget spinner? I mean, I don't know. I guess does one get bored and you just like, once it's at full salute, you put the fidget spinner on top and then wee! Like, what do you do? And why? <laughs> dad's cookies <laughs> good night loaf <laughs> he shoved it a fidget spinner you guys have to be trolling me is that even humanly possible i'm trying to pick was it like a mini like one of the mini brand fidget spinners <laughs> Wee, yeah, you like that I don't know. I don't know what's wrong tonight. I think Nal did hex me. <laughs> We're talking about some things tonight. I don't know if she's alive. I'm not worried about it. Right now, I'm trying to get the fidget spinner out of my head. I heard it is. Oh, my Lord. You're not kidding. Ask Marty. Marty, where are you when we need you? Please come and confirm this. I'm, gl ugh, I'm glad Marty kicked his ass. I am too. See, Marty's such a stud. Marty, Marty, Marty. Ugh. I'm in so much pain tonight between the stylus and now saying shoving things up buttholes. And I'm just like, I'm physically in pain. I hope you used really good lube. You would have to. Like, what would you do? Analies? Like, use the analies lube? Get it all numb? I don't know. I don't know, Tony, what you came back to. We're in a weird mood tonight. I really didn't think we'd be talking about some of the things that we have. I think we all need to go to church after this. <laughs> you want the Marty song? Oh, my God. I'd be happy to play that. Let me find it. By Young Cyrax. Oh, look. It just comes right up. Hold on, you guys. You could stare at Cyrax's teeth while we hear the most beautiful song that has ever blessed my ears. It's all about my husband, Marty, Marty, Marty. Music biz, Marty, this one goes out to you, bro. I'm hoping it can be like it used to be. Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me. Dead Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me. Marty, 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 you make me feel like I should, like a fucking little goblin. Marty, you make me feel like I'm the king of the neighborhood. I said Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me. Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me. That's it, Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me. Bitch, Marty, Marty, Marty.
Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me. I said, Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me. I said, Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me. I said, Marty, 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 I remember when we first met. Wanted to see your dick, and I wanted to suck our dick, maybe even swallow it. And I wanna give you that blind Billy special, while I'm looking like the devil. Now I know you're the one for me, bitch. Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me. I said, Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me, bitch. Marty, 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 yeah, I'm obsessed. you know you're the one for me. Marty, 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 I just want to feel you inside of me. Cause I'm feeling so gay, and I don't know what to say. No, bitch. Look, Marty, I know we've had our differences, but I'm hoping we can put- hold, hold on. I'm hoping we can put all that behind us, right? Just kick it like old time, like me and Jake. <laughs> hey! Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me. I said Marty, 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 yeah, you know that I'm feeling so good. Wanna suck your dick, bitch? Marty, oh. Marty, Marty, yeah, you know you're the one for me, bitch. Marty, 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 yeah, you know you're the one for me. Yeah, Marty, 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 I just wanna taste your dick, and then I want to swallow it. I wanna do you like my dad on a bike path. In 94, bitch. I wanna taste your gum. This little goblin really wants to get it done. I wanna swallow every drip off our dead. Bitch, you know I need. Oh my god, I had to click on this. I had to click on this. I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, I kind of like this. I don't know. I like this though. I'm like over here enjoying the scenery. <laughs> like, 
I like this. I don't know what this video is, but I'm glad I clicked on it. I guess they're telling me it's who? Based is hella talented. I don't know what it is, but I want to stay longer. That's what I do know. Based shaman? Okay, you guys, it's based shaman? Cyrax is using AI to fake his vocals. I feel like I'm going down a rabbit hole. So check Bass Shaman out, Breezy. He covers Cyrax a lot. I think I I really liked that. <laughs> check my comments. Okay, I'm going up. Sorry, I'm looking at StreamYard, so I might be a bit behind. Bass Shaman is the creator of Young Cyrax. Okay, that was from Brandy. Um, Breezy song is Why We Fighting. I love it. I love it. He's cute. Oh, really? Ram Ranch. Okay. I was going to put on Free Ball by the Walnut Grove. Okay, we'll go to Ram Ranch after that. Let's have a little palate cleanser before we hear about 18 Naked Cowboys. All right. Hold on. Let me start this over. I don't know what this says about me, but I really like this song. <laughs> Ram Ranch is hilarious. I mean, we've talked about so much tonight. Like, what would be the difference if we played that too, right? All right. I just like this song. It makes me happy. I like to think about Cobes Ball. Oh, her phone's going off. I forgot I even still had her off on the screen in the background. Hold on. Found Puff yet. I'm looking for him. No, I don't wear diapers, to be quite honest with you. I actually free ball. Free ball. Like, I pretty much like free ball, like, 95 to 100% of the time. Free ball. Like, I pretty much like free ball because it feels so nice. You know what I'm saying? If I actually free ball, like, I pretty much like free ball, like, 95 to 100% of the time. Free ball. Like, I pretty much like free ball because it feels so nice. You know, I don't wear diapers, to be quite honest with you. I don't wear underwear unless it's cold outside. I only wear underwear, to be quite honest with you, know, to keep my balls warm. Like, I don't wear underwear, therefore, I don't wear diapers. You know, I don't wear diapers, dude. <laughs> okay, you know what? To be quite honest with you, I actually free ball. Free ball. Like, I pretty much like free ball, like, 95 to 100% of the time. Free ball. Like, I pretty much like free ball because it feels so nice. You know what so I'm saying? Nice. I actually free ball. Like, I pretty much like free ball, like, 95 to 100% of the time. Free ball. Like, I pretty much like free ball because it feels so nice. I love that. All right, you guys. We're going to play Ram Ranch. Okay, if you have another song you want me to look up, tell me while we're listening to this so I could find it. I don't know. This song isn't for everyone, but again, we've talked about everything tonight. Like, what the hell is this going to... Which one do I click on? Ram Ranch really rocks? Oh, no. I don't think that was it. Hold on. I thought I had it up. Ram Ranch 18 Cowboys. I mean, how many different... Oh, I found it. Hold on. It's really annoying. <laughs> Ranch, big hurt, job and cocks wanting to be oh my. sucked. 18 naked cowboys wanting to be fucked. Oh my lord. Cowboys in the showers at Ram Ranch on their knees wanting to suck cowboy cocks. 
Ram Ranch really rocks. <laughs> Hot hard buff cowboys, their cocks throbbing hard. Eighteen more wild cowboys out in the yard. Big bulging cocks ever so hard. Orgy in the showers at Ram Ranch. Big hard throbbing cocks. Ram and cowboy butt like a breed of ram wanting to rut. Oh, I'm on my way, baby. I'm on my way. <laughs> Big hard throbbing cocks getting sucked real deep. Cowboys even getting fucked in their sleep. Okay. Ram Ranch, it rocks. Cowboys love big hard throbbing cocks. <laughs> Please put that on a t shirt somewhere. All right, I can't listen to much more of it, but that was <laughs> sperm everywhere. <laughs> All right, maybe one more minute. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Oh, shit, I just got rid of you guys, I think. Oh, no. Hold on. All right. I don't know. I was over it kind of anyways. <laughs> All right. I think, um, Zan, it has to be a copyright-free song. So, like, I have to be able to play it without getting my stream taken down. But I'm going to look up something else. Um, do you guys have any songs that you know are okay to play? Sign me up, right? I was signed up when I heard Orgy. I mean, I don't know about you. But, <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Tonight's been wild. Absolutely wild. Nell is still asleep. Um, oh wait, she's moving again. Or at least the screen is. Yeah, I have no idea. Play it, mute it, and then tell me what you think about her voice. Okay, how about, will you comment for me after the stream if you remember? Hold on. Let me turn her up. I don't know why I want to, but, well, she was moving, or at least the phone was. Hmm, I don't know. The meth pipe rolls. Yeah, I typed it, how mama raised has Josh, Ma wait, what? How mama raised? It does look like an orange peel. Hold on, before your comment disappears. Hell mama raised Josh my dick? The things I'm typing in tonight, I mean, is it a freestyle? I think I found it on my phone. Hold on. We can go there. Hell mama raised. Mama... All right, sorry, I'm doing it on my laptop now. My dick. I'm really glad my dad is not still in the kitchen fixing something for me. Now, how did I lose it? Hold on. I'm still here. Hold on. Well, clearly I'm still here. Okay, I found it. Stop sharing. Do, 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 do. Cobes my dick. Yes, I never thought that I would be typing those things, but you know, here I am. Yo. So I made a video of my green underwear like I just don't care. God damn, had my of age fangirls ready to stare. One girl said to me, you're nice. She liked the way my underwear hugged me tight. Double stands are a bitch. So fuck it, leave it in a ditch. My dick is the shit. 7,000 subscribers. Yo dick ain't shit. My dick, fuck Katy Perry. Yo dick is just plain scary. My dick's like a porn star. Your dick just scars and leaves bad memories. My dick's like a motorcycle. Chicks like to ride on it. Yo dick is just plain psycho. My dick is the shit. Yo dick ain't shit. Yo. My dick's crazy good, your dick is crazy ass lame It's a shame, but you remember my fucking name And you're gonna make me more famous when you spread this shit Like your dick and your, and your STDs My dick likes to please Yo dick got the STDs Yo, my dick is pimp shit Yo dick ain't shit I'm confident in my body Cause I know I'm a fucking god hearty Yo dick 
ain't the shit. My dick take care of the business. Yo dick needs to have the business put to it. <laughs> my dick shoots off loads. Your dick fucked your mom. My dick is the bomb. Wait a minute. Is that too far? No, it's not. You're a motherfucker. And you're a sucker to this game. My dick's got the fame. Yo dick has no name. P.S. I like this. Dr. King Cobra is the best in the business. We got dicks like Satan, ready for mating. My dick is fire. Your dick's about to expire. My dick is the pimp shit. Yo, dick, you just ain't shit. Yo, making fun of the My Dick song. My dick's like a bong. Every girl wanna hit it. Yo, dick's already gone. My dick blows minds. Yo, dick oh, blew its own brains out. Oh my god. So sad. So mad. Look at me getting more famous. Look at these ready trolls spreading this shit like butter. But I sit here and nut it on the back of their throat because they gotta write themselves a little note. Fuck with me and it bites them in the ass every time. Bust a mad rhyme. <coughs> okay, that was impressive. I kind of like that. <laughs> Hold on, you guys told me to look up more of Based Shaman Young Cyrax. Okay, you guys can help me pick this song. That was really good. I like the song, not the video. Yeah, I could have done without the whole gun bar, but whatever. I'm pretending. I, I liked the rest of it. Okay, so there's... I don't know. Which one should we listen to? Dear Grandma? Beat my mom like a... What? Straight to jail? And pick my scabs? My little... What? <laughs> I sipped too much sludge. I done sipped on sludge. Marty, Marty, Marty. Um, all right. Bossa Nova banger. I don't know. Which one should we pick? The first one? Okay. Let's see. This one? Yeah. Cyrax, bitch, I'm back. You already know who the fuck this is. Hey. You know Ooh, I like it. Through, right, bitch? We about to do some real cop and shit. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I need all my real 43s to stand the fuck up, bitch. We gonna show Marty and Willie the car how we do it. Hey. Yo, Cyrax, bitch, you know I got the heat. Reppin' that with bitch, oh my God. from the street I don't give a fuck what you said about me All I'm on to is be my fucking me Jack it up my dick, y'all do it every right. day Gotta go hard, but you know I might be gay I'm sucking on that dick and it tastes so good Not up on my head, don't get the good Gotta get so good when you give me what I need I wanna suck that dick all time, baby I wanna suck that dick every day of the week Look at me, bitch, I'm a motherfucking free. I don't give a shit what you say you gon' do. Y'all side back, but you know I'm coming through. You know I'm in my whip, and all I do is drip. Bitch, I got that swag, and I'm fucking on the mill. Yeah, y'all side racks on the city. Can't do it looking so clean. Sipping on sludge all day. Bitch, you know I might be gay. Sucking on that dick, yeah, you know that's what I need. Tastes so good every day of the week. Your side racks, I'm a motherfucking freak. When I'm with your mama, I'ma make a pussy leak. And I'm gonna get up, I taste so right. Wanna fuck that bitch all motherfucking night. Cause I'm finna pussy, get a brag on. Now I'm not steady, she gon' have my head to go away. You already know what the fuck this is, bitch. I wanna beat up my grandma again. Cause my sludge ain't ready. Where's my sludge? Mom, I'm gon' beat her ass. No one gon' smash Bustle in the back Now I bustle from the front Beat that pussy All fucking up Then I tell her right. That I ain't had enough Bring that ass over Cause you about to get fucked Bring that ass over Cause you about to get fucked Bring that ass over I'm about to eat his lunch Then I fuck his mom Then I fuck his dad Then I fuck his brother All for this ass Yo, I'm sorry Bitch, you know it's going down I'm gonna make the sound No, I'm telling Y'all already know. Uh, just like my dad, he was 
bitches on the bike back. Fucking on that pussy, make you know we get it high. Hey, you gotta get it in, and I'll put it in. Young side rap, bitch, all I do is see. All I do is win. I'm the motherfucking man. Take me to the test, I'm the motherfucking man. Get it right, now she getting right, so. Whip it out, now she getting smashed out, uh. I'm freaking obsessed with that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys couldn't see me, but I was dancing over here the whole flipping time. Okay, we need another one. We need another one. I, you're hella drunk. It's okay. I was dancing the whole entire time. That was so freaking good. Okay, what next? I don't know. Maybe not the beat my mom. Well, maybe. I don't know. I sip too much sludge. Trust me when I say this. Sludge in my cup? I don't know. It's so good. I'm I'm going to subscribe. Hold on. I have to. I have to. Trust me when I say this, man. Oh, shoot, my battery. Hold on. I got to plug you guys in. Oh, shoot. I'm pulling a now. My laptop wants to die. And I don't want it to die in the middle of this. Where is the damn plug? Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to resuscitate you. Okay. <laughs> Let me go back. All right. Sludge. There was a lot of sludge. I'm just going to pick a sludge. I done sipped on slipped or sipped on sludge. Okay. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. Me and bitch, I'm about to let you know how the fuck we do it. We stay sipping sludge, bitch. Wait, Aye. is this the one we just saw? No. I don't know. I'm going with it. I think I I found my new favorite artist. I'm a, I'm in love with this channel. All right, we're gonna pick one more song, you guys. This is so good. You guys blessed me with like the best music ever. Love when Marty gets. <laughs> I won't say that word because I know it's offensive 
So, but I know you guys don't mean it that way. Like, I just won't say it, but I know it's what he's called. All right. Uh, we get on foodie for calling um, a certain creator that who's Jewish. So, like, I don't know. I just don't want to say it. All right. Sludge in my cup. My stylist. I think we're going to have to go with my stylist. Oh, Lord. Oh. I feel like I don't know in my head. Have you guys ever heard of the song The Monster Man? This thing keeps I'm pausing. Okay. Hi, like said, not sure what's going on, but people are worried and Josh has been calling now nonstop. I think he just gave up. And Maude talking about getting yelled at for her telling on her phone to get help. All right, let's go there really fast. That song was amazing though. I have a new favorite channel. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going back to Chicken Ballerina, her stream. Thank you, Hi Like, for letting us know. Okay, we're at real time. Let me unpause it. I don't know. I guess let's hang out for a little bit. Someone told him, Cobes, you have to keep trying. We are concerned about her. Get some sleep, Josh. She just needs to sleep. 
Well, let me scroll up and see what he said. Is he a mod on her channel? I don't even remember. He is. He said uh, just sent her voice chat. I'm calling her. Wow. Huh. That's sad that he even has to stay up and worry about her because she can't act right. She's fine. She's just passed out. And I'm going to have stylus in your butt stuck in my head all night. <laughs> Thank God I'm going to have that in my head instead of Ram Ranch, though. Um, she's fine. She's just passed out, Highlake said. Camera's moving, which means she's breathing. Everything's fine. True. She needs to be careful about falling asleep on her back, though, as much as she gets drunk. Um, someone told her, oh, wait, I'm really far behind. Sorry. But anyway, somebody told her she's ignoring you, Cobes. He says he's called her six times now. So she's, it's a black screen now before we could see her breathing. At, but she could have ro rolled over on her phone. You think Cyrox is better than Cobes? Gray alien? What are they saying? I try to care, but shit. Wait, I try to care, but shit. She's difficult too much for me. I can't do it. Wow. Well, she's exhausting. I wouldn't want to babysit her. Nobody should have to. Great alien said, I do care. I give her good advice and then she turns on me. They said, and then Great Alien said, Oh my God, stop calling her. Was peeking down a YouTube rabbit hole, effing tripped over a mushroom, got yeeted, and now I'm here. Great Alien had a, like a tough night tripping over a mushroom. She was talking to Michael Myers and said, I don't have a stream or anything. I don't even know how I got here. That doesn't even make sense. Aren't you a mod? So why are you pretending like you just stumbled across her screen? She might do a Bon Scott. He's better at music than Cobes for sure. I did see clips where um, when Cyrox got trolled and he thought that he was signed to like a record label. <laughs> I don't know, Zan. It was a very dangerous mushroom though. It put Grey Alien in, in a whole mood. Um, Cass said, hi, Jess. Are you okay? We care, sweetie. They also said, I wish we could show her the way out of negative thinking. It would change her life for the better. Good luck with that. Um, someone said, oh, Cobra's Cantina said, Rosebud, Queen passed out drunk and we're worried. And Cobes is trying to call to make sure she's okay. Um, someone said, that's not good. How long has she been out? Pretzel said, she whole turned off the light. She's there, just not all the way. I don't know. I don't think people should have to babysit her. Queen Cobra, Piss in the Box is a good song. Let me see if I can find it. Piss in the Box. Again, the things I'm typing tonight. Piss in the Box. All right, I'm not looking at this screen, so I don't know if I'm missing anything, but I'll be back. All right, let's see. Oh, I found it by CEO of Chairbugs. It's funny. Do we want to go there really fast or do we want to see? Oh, wait. Gray Alien said something definitely happened to make her this way. Um, well, that's for her to go figure out in therapy. She's not going to figure it out. Live streaming 18 hours a day. You want to go there really fast? Okay. We'll come back. Oh, wait. But I just heard her moving. Hold on. Cobra said, I called six times and left voice messages. All right, I'm going to play this song and I'll keep an eye on the chat. Let me play it. Alcohol is making her this way. Alcohol is the literal devil. I'm telling you, when you're angry or depressed and you drink alcohol, it's a depressant. So it makes everything worse. She's not helping her moods with all this alcohol. Um, Great alien saying she made noises. Oh, I shared her screen again. Sorry. Cobra's Cantina said, you did all you could, Cobes. Not much you could do from here. So, all right. I'm assuming she's fine. I'm assuming. It does ruin lives. 
It does. I mean, I know there's oh, music is Marty. She's not dead. Hold on. Let me share the screen. You missed our whole concert, Marty. Um, I have questions about a fidget spinner and how it fit. <laughs> you guys, my husband's here. Hello, Marty. <laughs> we actually played your song tonight, too. Um, I think she's just drunk and passed out, which happens. She also was like high as a mother freaking kite, like beyond. So she's probably sleeping good right now. Or good ish. Well, because then my dad's here. Marty, Marty, Marty. I know how exciting. No, Cyrox sucks at everything. He can't rap, sing, keep for them count to four, play piano. Oh, so they were debating who's better at music, Cobes or Cyrax. Um, all I know is that channel you guys had me check out, Bass Shaman, was so fucking good. Um, Cobra says, I do my best, and she's so used to being abused. She's unsure about me. He also says she is cared about. Her parents are saints. I just feel so bad Josh even has to deal with this. He says, I do. Oh, yeah, I read that. Oh, thank you, Marty, for the super chat. I forgot to thank you because I was so excited you were here. <laughs> thank you, Marty. Thank you. Play Marty Piss in the Box song. You want me to play it? Okay. We'll come back to her. I disagree for a sicko. Cyrax is good at music compared to Cobes. Um, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I still can't get Cobes' penis out of my mind, and I don't know why you guys had me look that up. Okay, is this it? Queen Cobra Piss in the Box, CEO of Chairbugs? I'm not peeing out the window. I'm peeing in a, the box that Chaos sent me. Pulling down my pants, pop a squat. Told them fuck trolls, fuck cops. Told my parents kick rocks. I just took a piss in the box. <laughs> Had to take a piss in the box. Pour out the prenatal, I'ma get crazy. I got the bath water that looks like gravy. Thought I told these trolls, let my ass crack. Stepped on Joshy's toes, heard crap. Oh, crack. fuck my toes. I smell like Wendy's, yo. Josh, get back to that. Your pussy smells like Wendy's. What? I can smell the sweat coming off of you and it smells like Wendy's. Oh my god. And I thought I told these trolls. Suck my ass crack. Suck my ass crack. Where the brats at? Who's the owls in the shopping cart? Cadillac. Cause I know these trolls after where the attic at. Gotta move smart. Gotta grip harder. Gotta shed a couple gallon of bath water to support my son, Jason Saunders. I brought yeah. the beat. Wendy's not a sponsor. So much heat. My ceiling falls. Josh done put his whole um, Maria on my swamp. And I know he's gonna have herpes the month. Joshy got fish and cheese in the month. And I know that CEO bump. Joshy couldn't beat this. So bitch got to beat to Casper about to get the kid to the city. Pete calling from the city. Pulling down my pants, pop a squat. Pulling fuck trolls, fuck cops. Told my parents Kate rocks. I just took a piss in the box. Had to take a piss in the box. Pour out the prenatal. I'ma get crazy. I got the bath water that looks like gravy. Thought I told these trolls, suck my ass crack. Stepped on Joshy's toes, heard crack crack. I smell like Wendy's, yo. Josh, get back that. And I thought I told these trolls, suck my ass crack. Okay. <laughs> oh. Good night. Question change. <laughs> Every time you guys have me check out another song, I'm newly in love. Just lower and lower she blows. She was going to sleep. No joke that that was terrifying when that happened. If you watch that go down in real time where she was like face down for minutes. Um, don't do substances and take a bath. Just don't. It's really not worth it. Um, okay, so back to her drama. Oh, I should unpause her, but I'm assuming she's not doing anything. Um, 
great alien is still going. She doesn't, or she does need help for sure. But instead of going to therapy, she streams. True. And then she says, I don't talk down to her. I tell her to get her shit together because she's an adult. Somebody else said, streaming all hours of the day and having people talk down to you on constantly is not conducive to anyone's mental health. However, the way she goes about it. But like, I don't know. I'm so sick of hearing about her mental health because that's her own responsibility. It's nobody else's. So if she knows she has issues, she should probably go to therapy and get help for it, right? Not make Josh babysit, not make her chat worry. Um, she shouldn't be throwing temper tantrums and nobody can cover me and people shouldn't be defending her. Why are you covering a mentally you know, unstable person? It's her responsibility and hers only. She loves worrying her audience. It's manipulation. It's manipulation. It's very much part of the addict. And it takes like a long time to get away from that. Um, even when you're newly sober, you could still be like manipulative. So she truly has some shit to work out. She's just trying to wash her face. She created her own environment with chat. True. She was almost 40. She's grown. This is her problem. Someone the other day asked her about therapy and her response instantly was, you paying for it, you effing whore? Wow. Still no excuse to go after kids and talking about graping kids. It's disgusting. Yeah. It's, it's all manipulation. She knows what she's doing. I just hope Josh reflects tonight and asks himself if he wants to go through this every single night with her. Because it seems like he might have his own things that like he needs to worry about, right? What do you think would get more views? If I take a nap in the shower, if I just go to sleep in bed like a normal person? I don't know. What incest fetish she has. It is. It is disgusting. She always talks about dad and shit. It just, it makes you wonder. I'm not saying anything about her parents. I'm just wondering like what person obsesses over incest like that. Or every time they get drunk, they like rage about it. Again, not saying anything about her family. I'm just saying, I wonder what's like going on in her fucked up brain or what's happened in her life that that's like something she projects on other people all the time. And kids, yeah. I don't know. She's got to get her shit together. Um, bang, bang, babies all said, Josh, tonight Jessica said she wants to be your accountant or money manager. Maybe you should let her. That way she will feel like she has a purpose and job and important role in your relationship. That would be the stupidest thing that he could do. Oh, my God. I really hope that's like not even a thing he considers. Did she really say that? That's like a red flag. <laughs> he won't his desperation and having to prove the trolls wrong trumps any judgment he might have. That makes me so sad. He's friends with Courtney, right? I hope Courtney has a like long talk with him. Maybe he needs to go on her panel again. It would be really stupid. Clint would not allow. I hope not. If somebody you're in an like new relationship and they're wanting to take over your finances, run, run for the hills. Courtney is cool. I like her. I, I know it's like mixed feelings around here. I think she's hot and I think she's cool and she seems like she really cares about Josh. Um, so there's that. And she seems like, you know, she's understanding, but also wants to make him aware that he deserves more. Hey, Munchie, you fix the audio? Have him on your panel. I heard she told the producer of Fish Tank, if he wanted Josh, you have to put her in the show too. I did hear that. And she will manage Josh and his money. I heard the part about if he's going to go on, she is too. But that's, dude, that's red flags. You don't get with somebody, visit them twice, and then want to manage their money. Like money shouldn't even be a topic really in a relationship you've met the person twice. I don't know. That's just too soon. If Courtney has any chance of getting through, it has to be offline and private. Whatever she has to do, I really hope he listens to her. Courtney is nice and seems genuine. Like I said, I like her. I know when Foodie was going to put down her cat, she was one of the people who offered to take BBJ. And so that tells me a lot about her. 
And plus, like I said, I don't know. I think she's gorgeous. I think she's hot. Because on the panel, all Josh would do is defend Nal and slay trolls. She won't let his name his son Jason and won't let him have his clock tower. It's so sad. I don't know. We got to rescue him. It's so odd how I started not really caring at all about Josh. Like, I truly just wanted to see what the hell was going on with now. I knew her from the foodie beauty stuff and, like, her many different love triangles. Um, but I started not really giving a fuck about this guy and not knowing why people even watched him. And now my little heart, like, I know he's not a perfect person. I know he's done messed up shit. Um, but, like, I feel like this need to see him do better. I don't know how else to describe it. Like, I just want to see him do better. She'll try to control everything. She's controlling. Bubbly said, I've seen what Joshy makes, and if I made that much, I'd live a whole new life. Flem dislodge. <laughs> just saying, baby doll. No. She's so vile. I hope Clint gets sent videos on her. I know he says he doesn't check this stuff, but hopefully he'll look into her. Um, so let me read her chat. Hate to break it to you all. We're all going to die. This mortal coil is what it is. Well, that was depressing. It's what we do today that matters. True. I listened to good music today. That was great. Um, Lawrence said it's her therapy. Just wish she wouldn't beat herself up over it. Someone said she's got to stop feeding the trolls. Pretzel said, I think her reservation is much more subtle than her anger, but they probably intertwine sometime or somewhere. That was deep. Someone said they're out for reactions and anger. I'm just out to have a good time. That's what I'm out to do. <laughs> I'm just out to have fun. I go back and forth. One moment I feel sorry for Josh and the next moment I feel like, well, he asked for it because he refuses to listen to anyone. But isn't that just, like, built in him and he can't really help it? Mm, I don't know. He just wants to be a rock star in his clock tower mansion with his son Jason Voorhees Saunders. <laughs> Poor Josh. Free Josh. Save Josh. Rescue Josh. I still didn't plan Friday, but it's okay. You want me to mute and listen to it really fast? Hold on. Let me find my cellular device. Okay, what am I looking up, Zan? I will listen for you for like one minute, and then I'll listen to the rest later. Josh has ODD. He can't help it. Yeah, so it's like a constant battle in his head, right? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not a very religious person, but when I go to sleep, I do pray every single night, and I will be praying that he gets his clock tower and that he can have a relationship that he's truly loved and appreciated and he's understood. And I hope he has nothing but good things. Josh had a moment of clarity before they met, but that's gone. Well, maybe it'll come back. All right, Zan. No, I want you to listen to the eyes of chaos. The eyes of chaos. Are you taking a dig at me with my crazy eyes? Um, by once human. All right, I'm going to listen to it just for you. And I will let you know what I think. I'll be right back. Hold on. Well, I like it so far, but it's a little too screamy for me at this hour. So I'm going to come back in the morning. <laughs> I know I had to mute it. I couldn't play it because I don't know. I, ha I didn't even get to the voice. It just I just heard that. Blah! 
that's what I got to. But the, the whole intro was amazing. Okay, let me get to her voice. Hold on. If you guys want to look up the song, it's Once Human, Eye of Chaos. Hold on. I want to hear her voice. Oh, that's her? I didn't realize that was her going, oh, la, la, la. Well, I didn't think that voice was coming out of that body, that's for sure. <laughs> it's really good. It's just um, a little too yelly for me right now, but it's really good. It's really good. You can hear it. Yeah, no, I had to mute because I'm just not sure if I could play it, but it was Once Human, Eye of Chaos. And once you look at the person, you won't think that the roar comes out, but it's, yeah, it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> All right, you guys, I think we should come back in the morning. Well, I always say that, but it's going to be the late morning or the early afternoon. If she's alive tomorrow, um, we'll go live and cover it. Well, I guess it's today, isn't it? But I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Mandalore, um, now, I don't know. She was really loaded tonight. She's loaded every night, but like tonight, especially tonight, especially. And then she raged at me for a little bit. Well, not really rage. She just tried to drag me. Um, she was extra vile extra disgusting. And then we went on a musical tour of this channel called Based Shaman. And if you haven't checked it out, I highly suggest you do because it's like one of my new favorite channels. It's like right up there. And now we checked in on now who the chat's like very worried about her, but I think she's just super loaded and passed out. Josh has been in the chat. He seems worried about her. Um, he was trying to call her. He couldn't get through. Gray Alien is kind of finally saying the truth about her instead of kissing her ass, which is shocking. Yeah, it was so much fun for me, too. I had a great time with you guys. It was really wild. If you go back, if you came in late and you go back and listen to the beginning part of the stream, I highly suggest you pop in like those earbuds because um, we've definitely been on a journey tonight. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a great day, great evening, wherever you are. And I will see you so soon. Bye, everybody. Thank you again to the mods, Breezy Bunch members. Love you guys. And thank you, Marty, for the super chat. Bye.